Hey there, it's Lisa Appiah, Certified Career and Resume Strategist. Welcome back to my channel. And for those who are here for the very first time, welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about something quite exciting, how to write your resume summary of qualifications using ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is basically a chat box using artificial intelligence and the difference between this one, I guess, and maybe some other things that have come out in the past using AI is that this one is supposed to be human-like, where it's supposed to be almost conversational. And so it's quite revolutionary and it's causing a lot of stir for the last couple of months. It's all a lot of people have been talking about and questioning whether it's going to take over our jobs or take over the way we communicate. And you know, it's it's new, so we're still waiting to see what happens. But I have found that it's an amazing tool to help you to write more quickly. And it is helpful to write your resume as well. What I will say is that I do not believe in having ChatGPT write your resume in full. I have tested it and I've tried it, you know, just prompting it and saying something like, write a resume for a human resource manager, or write a resume for a social media manager. The challenge is that it sounds very robotic. It sounds very much like uh, someone copy and pasted their resume from an AI tool. Uh, but ultimately what you want to do with your resume is that you want to tell your story because your resume is not a list of various tasks that you have undertaken. It's actually your story. And so to be able to tell the story, you need to take the time to understand what are the achievements that you've had? What are your success stories? And be specific in terms of the tangible impact that it's been able to make in the various organizations that you've worked for. And so when using ChatGPT for resume writing, you still need to understand the logic behind it. You still need to understand how to write a summary of qualifications. This is just helping you write it more efficiently and more quickly. You still need to understand how to write your resume bullets and the logic behind it. It's not going to provide you with that logic. It's just gonna spit out what you prompt it to spit out, basically. So that's something that I definitely want you to keep in mind. And that's why I do want to go through what a summary of qualifications actually is. The summary of qualifications is a section on your resume that goes on the very top. I have a slide from a presentation that I did that we can use for this. Right here, it says your value proposition and your value proposition is basically what is unique about you. It's a marketing term that really describes what are you bringing to the table that the hundreds and thousands of other candidates who are applying for the very same role cannot do the way that you do. And so your value proposition is ultimately, it's a statement that is often used in various forms in different places. So you may use your value proposition to now create your summary of qualifications on your resume. You may use your value proposition to create your about section on your LinkedIn profile. You can use your value proposition in various ways and repackage it basically for the need that you have at that time or the document that you're working on at that time. So there are four main sections that I've seen that are extremely helpful to include in your value proposition. So firstly, you need to understand your target position and industry. So by being specific about that and including that information, on your resume is quite important. If you don't know how to get really clear on your target position and industry, I do have another video that I'll link up right above that you can watch and I go in detail about how to define your employment target. So if this is something you don't know how to do, watch that video to be able to learn how to do that. So firstly, for this person, this example we're using, this is a human resource manager in healthcare. So that's the target position and the industry. You then want to come up with a word that describes you. You want to be able to describe yourself. You want this to be unique to you, not just uh, something that is generic that could 
be any human resource manager. This person in particular describes themselves as enterprising, but you may describe yourself as a forward thinking leader, or you may describe yourself in another way completely. Find a word that really encapsulates who you are, that really describes your brand. And it doesn't have to be one, but the thing is you don't want to overdo it maybe with too many adjectives and adverbs. You still want to get straight to the point of what you're trying to say. It's really just three or four lines at the top of your resume, so you don't want it to be extremely long. The next thing is an action verb that describes how you help the company. So for this person, they are a human resource manager and what they do and how they help the company is that they direct planning and policy and they are effective at communicating and building partnerships. So that's what's unique to that person. And to be able to understand that, you need to be able to understand firstly the skills that you have, but also what need does the company have at this moment. So looking at the job poster for the position that you're applying for will give you a better sense of what are the current needs of the company and how do you align the skills that you have to that current need. The next thing that is really important is having a significant achievement in your summary of qualifications. So for this person, the significant achievement is that they reduce staff turnover by 20% and they increase employee engagement by 15%. So those are huge achievements and you will notice that they are specific. They provide a specific percentage and you know, this is just an example I created, but you can get even more specific. So increase employee engagement by 15% in how long or reduce staff turnover by 20% in three years, in four years or whatever. Like the more specific you can get, the more a person can really understand the impact that you were able to have. So this is the logic behind your summary of qualifications. And so now let's dive into ChatGPT in terms of how you can use this framework to be able to get the AI to basically write the summary of qualifications for you. So a couple of months ago, before we had ChatGPT, I would teach this framework to my clients and have them piece out these various uh, portions or these various parts of their summary of qualifications or their value proposition. And then I would tell them, now that you have the pieces of the puzzle, put them together. And then they would create a statement that they would write out on their own. But now you have a tool that can help you do that part quicker. But it doesn't replace the fact that you need to take the time to write out and to know your story, to write out your achievements, to write out your accomplishments. So that part you can't skip. That part an AI tool cannot do that for you. So let's get into ChatGPT. Like. You need to so. sign up and create an account. But basically, I'm going to provide you with two examples. I told you before that if you just put a generic write a resume for me or something like that, what you're going to get sounds very robotic, right? So let's try that example. So let's prompt it a summary of qualifications. Let's make this specific, a resume. And the more specific you are, the better it's going to be. So write a resume summary of qualifications for a human resources manager. And let's see what it comes up with. So we see here that it's coming up with a summary of qualifications. This is a little long um, for your resume, but let's see what it says. Highly accomplished human resource manager with whatever number of years of experience in leading HR functions and driving strategic initiatives to support organizational goals, blah, 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 blah. It goes on. It, it's nice. It sounds great. You can probably pull some lines from here and um, create your own summary of qualifications. The issue with this is that it could be anybody's summary of qualifications. It's not unique to any person. It could be anyone's summary of qualifications. So I want to show you the difference now with the framework that I just showed you to be able to create your own summary of qualifications. If we use that as our prompts, what is it going to give us? I'm just gonna copy and paste it right here and this is the prompt. Basically, it's the four-step framework that I just taught you. Write a summary, a resume summary of qualifications, including the following four parts. And the four parts are our target position in industry, a word that describes them, 
uh, action verb that describes how they help the company. And then I had a typo before, so let me just add building. There's a word missing there. And then also uh, the significant achievement, reduced staff turnover by 20% and increased employee engagement by 15. Okay, shorter than the previous one. Enterprising human resource manager with a proven track record in the healthcare industry, dedicated to driving organizational success by directing planning and policy initiatives, communicating effectively and forging strategic partnerships. Demonstrated achievement in reducing staff turnover by 20% and enhancing employee engagement by 15%. A resource-oriented professional committed to fostering a positive work environment and optimize HR processes to support the healthcare team's success. So that's a summary of qualifications. It's a lot more personable. It's a lot more unique. It's not generic. And you can take this now, and I'm not saying copy paste exactly word for word what it says, but make it your own. This is giving you basically a foundation to accelerate your writing. The amazing thing with this is that the way I've prompted this right now is one of the most basic ways that you can prompt on ChatGPT. So simply write a resume summary of qualifications, including this information, but you can prompt it in so many different ways. So in terms of tone, you can say sound more formal or informal, more compelling, more confident, more persuasive, more humorous. You don't want <laughs> It to be humorous for your resume, but I'm just kind of giving you an idea that the more detail you're going to provide in prompting it, the more you'll get out of it basically. So the tone in which it writes can change depending on how you prompt it in that way. In addition to that, you don't have to prompt it only just write the resume summary of qualifications. Maybe you already have your summary of qualifications and now you want improvements. So improve this current summary of qualifications to include this result or improve this summary of qualifications to have a more confident tone. So depending on what you're trying to achieve, you prompt it basically accordingly. If you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, I encourage you to do so now. I post videos on a weekly basis and I talk about career, leadership, and LinkedIn. And so go ahead, hit that subscribe button.